Oh, you guys would never believe who I met here. Check this out. Look at this beautiful guy right there. <laughs> Today, guys, I'm gonna take you to a shopping center. We're gonna go to Lotus's because I just moved into my new condo and it's missing a few things. I need to go buy some basic necessities and I'm gonna bring you along because I thought it might be interesting for you as I go on my first shopping trip here in Bangkok, Thailand. Yes, for those of you that were wondering, I have got myself a rabbit card as of a week ago. It makes things so much easier. Just keep reusing it and we keep rolling. And this time I swear to God, guys, we are going to the right platform. I've literally done this like three or four times now where I keep getting on the wrong platform. So I don't know what I'm thinking, but hopefully uh, this time I got our, oh, look at this. Perfect timing. Oh, no, perfect timing is in, I just missed. <laughs> But this is still faster than going by taxi to where I'm going because the traffic's so bad. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes for the next train, no problem. Well, there is a straight connection to the Lotus Superstore. Of course, I didn't know that, so we're gonna go a little different way. Again, I'm getting a little bit lost and I don't care. I think that's part of the fun. Plenty of parking here. There's motorcycle taxis if you wanna take one of those. And if you wanna come by your car or by taxi, there's a huge parking lot here. So there's no issues with parking. Well guys, let's go inside and do some shopping. So as you can see downstairs, there's a bunch of food vendors, there's clothing, there's a bunch of little stores, Dunkin' Donuts, there's a bank. It's a shopping center and upstairs is the Lotus Superstore. I've never been to one. I'm excited to take you along as I go shopping for some basic supplies for my new condo. And guys, while you're watching this video, if I can ask you for a favor, if you can hit that thumbs up button or if you haven't subscribed yet to my content, go ahead and subscribe, share it with a friend. All of that really helps the YouTube algorithm get my videos out in front of more people. All right, first things first, let's get a shopping cart. All right, let's start doing some shopping. I have no idea where anything is in the store, so I'm just going to walk around and hopefully find what I need. Definitely need some water, and I like the Nestle water. It is 55 baht each, so 55 baht is approximately $1.20. I'm looking for pillows. What about this one here? Should I get this pillow with the bear? I think that fits my personality perfectly. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go with this pillow here, the side sleeper pillow. It's 289 Thai baht. Let's go with that. Now I am looking for some towels. I need some hand towels. My Airbnb had most of the things, but I just need a few little things like some hand towels. Sorry. And I'm already hitting people. <laughs> All right, guys, pillow acquired, and now I'm looking for some other basic necessities. And like I said, it's my first time here in the store, but it's kind of built like a Walmart, Supercenter, anything like that. So I think if I walk around long enough, I will find it. Well, my place has some dark colors, but I think there's some blue hues in the floor. Let's grab these guys here. They are 99 Thai baht, which is right about uh, $2.80. Definitely need an extra ice cube tray. The one I have is tiny. This one is 25 Thai baht, which is about 75 cents. I also need some towels to wash the dishes because the Airbnb did not provide them. I also need some hangers because the ones I got from the hotel are pretty puny. So let's see what we got here. I probably grab a couple of these. I have a couple of suit jackets. These are about $2 a piece, but these are nice wood hangers. I also want just some regular plastic hangers. I'm not sure if these are big enough, but let's get some of these. 69 Thai baht for six hangers, which is about $2. This nice gentleman just came up and he told me that half the things that I'm buying, it's buy one, get one free. So apparently this sign means buy one, get one. So thanks to you, sir. That was super nice of that guy to tell me that these things were buy one, get one free. I would have had no idea and I would have just picked up one. So I really appreciate everybody's been so friendly here in Thailand so far. And I just want to give a big heart warm thank you to all the Thai people that have supported me in my videos and just people on the street in general that have helped me out. I'm also trying to keep in mind that I just don't need a lot of stuff. I don't want to pick up a bunch of things that I don't need. And actually, I need a power strip. I just happen to be walking by. So let's find a power strip. Well, I was going to get this one here, but 229 Thai baht converts into $6.66, which I don't want to tempt fate with that. So this one's 199 Thai baht, which I think is right around $6. Let's grab one of these. 
if I can do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that should work. Well, you guys would never believe who I met here. Check this out. Look at this beautiful guy right there. <laughs> Toilet paper, absolutely need this. So we got a four pack here, 49 Thai bot, which is approximately $1.50. And now for the mystery detergent row. Well guys, I can't read Todd. However, I do know what this means. It's a pod and I know how that works. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I need some clothespins to air dry my clothes. That's gonna be 29 Thai baht, which is approximately 90 cents. Definitely gonna need a helmet, but I think I'm going to buy something a little bit higher quality when I'm ready to ride. You see some of these helmets, they are, for instance, full face helmet, 479 Thai baht. That is about $13. So, uh, yeah. Do I look like Mickey Stotch now? <laughs> I kind of like this thing, but I want a full face helmet for when I go riding. Don't have any drinking glasses, so we'll grab these guys. 39 Thai bot, which is approximately a dollar five, and I think I've got eight, six of them or eight of them here. So the TV remote did not have batteries in it, so I'm gonna buy these cheapy batteries. They're 58 Thai bot, it's a dollar fifty. I still haven't tried the durian fruit. One of these days I'm gonna to have to get around and doing it. Not today, but there's a bunch of it here. Beef is quite expensive here. As you can see, these are prices per kilogram and it's approximately 34 Thai baht to the dollar right now. So basically everything here is sold in bulk. You just grab the tongs and you buy the chicken or whatever you want the way it is. We got chicken feet, we got chicken drumsticks, uh, basically looking at 79 baht per kilogram. So that's approximately three dollars for two pounds i'm getting seriously hungry walking through the food section here and i'm not here grocery shopping so i need to finish up what i came here to do and get the heck out of here and go home and unpack all this stuff what i found here in thailand is that it's actually a lot cheaper to go out and buy food than it is a lot of times to cook it for yourself and especially for someone like me who doesn't know how to cook i will ruin pretty much anything i try to make so for me the convenience of going out and getting food is a huge plus also looking for some paper towels. I'm hoping that in this aisle, they will have some. I have no idea the size of the garbage can, but let's go for the medium. 47 Thai baht, which is approximately a dollar and a half. Just in case I make a mess. 19 Thai baht, approximately 60 cents. The place has everything. We've got a cell phone store. We've got health shops, a data center, AIS is here. Uh, looks like a full-blown pharmacy. Pretty much everything you would need definitely need some air freshener you know exactly why 129 Thai baht approximately four dollars so this is interesting this is the hard alcohol aisle and it looks like it's open from 11 to 2 and then 5 to midnight so it's closed between 2 and 5 and honestly I don't care I stopped drinking alcohol about uh, seven months ago and I rarely ever drink anymore so I don't really care about that that's actually, I think, one of the secrets to longevity here in Thailand is not to drink all the time because A, it gets expensive, and B, it could lead to other problems, financial, etc. Well, this is pretty cool. This is the import zone. Looks like they've got a bunch of different imported stuff here. Definitely see some lint chocolate, lots of candy and sweets here. I need to get out of this aisle as fast as possible. <laughs> ah, too late. Found my favorite lint sea salt chocolate. 149 Thai baht, which is about $5. Definitely a little bit more than in the U.S. Okay, I need to leave the snack aisle now before I start buying everything. I don't need more sugar in my life. I think most of us guys get lost in regular aisles looking for shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. It's bad enough when it's in English. It's even that much harder when you can't read and figure out what it is. Well, I have no idea what most of these shower gels are, so I'm gonna grab the most innocuous looking thing, this pear one, 169 Thai baht, which is approximately $5. So if you're walking down the street and there's a guy that smells like pear, it's probably gonna be me. <laughs> I'm learning that there are no paper towels available here, so I'm just gonna grab some of these general napkins, whatever, and these are 43 Thai baht. It's about $1.50 US. Some hand washing liquid just for the bathroom and the kitchen. Got to be careful because I'm going to start buying things I don't need, snacks, etc. Oh, green tea. I love green tea. Definitely going to have to get some, especially because they have my favorite brand. This guy here, this Japanese brand, Itonen. It doesn't have any sugar and it is delicious. I don't know what price it is, but I'm going to grab a couple. 
Okay, somehow I ended up in the baby aisle, so get me out of here because, uh, yeah, no kids. No, 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 no. <laughs> it looks like a lot more stuff than I was expecting, but I think I'm going to need all of this. We'll find out when I get home. I'm sure I forgot something. So all of that came out to 2,250 Thai baht, which right now is $64.45. This is definitely a different kind of an escalator. I've seen the ones in Europe where it catches your cart, but this one actually stops the cart from rolling. That's pretty unique. I'm definitely gonna have to catch a taxi. There's no way I'm gonna be carrying all this stuff onto the BTS by myself. Okay, better send a taxi. It's gonna be so much easier than trying to get all this stuff onto the BTS and hopefully explain to this gentleman where I'm going correctly. Holy smokes. Well, guys, looks like somehow I made it all the way back here in one piece. Wow. That was a long taxi ride. Traffic was really bad, but I got everything I needed back at my new home. Now time to unpack. Well, guys, I made it back from my first shopping trip here in Bangkok, Thailand, picking up all the necessities for my new condo. I'm going to unpack and continue on with my night. Again, if you like my content, subscribe, like, do all that regular stuff. I've got more videos coming up in Bangkok and I'm heading out of Bangkok for some other cool adventures. I'll put up some of my other videos, so take a look. And guys, like I always say, please take care of yourselves.